coach say that he hopes the team's really good on defense and special teams because offense has a long way to go? Do you agree with that assessment? Yeah, it's true, and it's kind of obvious with just with the lack of depth this whole spring. Uh, I, I do believe we did make progress, which was good from the start of spring ball uh, to the spring game. Uh, there's going to always be mental errors with, with so many young guys, uh, but I think they were cut cut way down and uh, gave a lot uh, gave a lot of guys chances to, to get in there and get game experience in the Coliseum today. And uh, But we, we'll, we'll always have work to do. And uh, so yeah, we still have, still have a lot to do. Now, was it hard to find a rhythm today with the other quarterbacks coming in? Yeah, that wasn't, I don't think, the, the plan. We wanted to get a lot of those guys reps, uh, get all those quarterbacks in. And you know that one play, they were all in, the receivers. and. Uh, so we wanted to make sure that they got reps, and uh, so I was going every other other, I guess, you know, one and four. Um, but it was I, I, I wouldn't. We uh, we didn't really get a rhythm, but I don't think that was the plan. What did you about today? What did you like the best, and what, what makes you the unhappiest looking back at today? I like the effort that our guys gave. You know, guys like Curtis McNeil and Coach Ed Dillon at the end. And the tight ends and the line, the line playing hard. Uh, a lot of those guys were playing hard today. Uh, some of the receivers uh, were going, you know, almost every single drive. Like Nick Curry and Robbie Boyer, some of those walk-on guys. Uh, so they were they were going hard and giving it there all to the end right there. Uh, we're really happy with the effort we played. And uh, mental errors were, were kind of disappointing today. Just a lot of a lot of mistakes across the board, including the quarterback position. Uh, so I think if we clean that up, uh, you know, we'll, we'll be better off. How do you feel like? You Chris McNeil today? here. Matt, how do you feel like you played today? I uh, always room for improvement. Uh, those two picks were disappointing, but I uh, was happy with when we moved the ball, we, we just got to finish it. And, uh, and we called some run plays, and um, some of those passes just got to be completed. Um, but you know, to, to finish off the, the spring game with the touchdown catch was a good feeling. Anything else for Matt? Matt, in the fall, you should have a full collection of weapons around you. With the guys nicked up, do you think that's making you better when uh, playing with some of the walk-ons? So? Yeah, it's helped me in a lot of areas, uh, especially leadership, just being able to uh, help these younger guys out and, and, uh, and stay, stay composed and, and cool and um, help these guys you know, build up to where we do have depth in the fall when all these other guys come. And it's forced me out to move around the pocket more and, and to force the check downs because you don't have all that time in the, in the pocket, so it's forcing me to go to my reads a lot quicker and get the ball to where it needs to be faster. Robert was far and away been your number one receiver throughout spring camp. But not having him out there today was did that kind of throw you off? Was that a big adjustment? Uh, I don't think it threw me off, but uh, it was, you know, obviously he would have added a lot more yards I think to the offense today just with some of the drop balls we had and um, just some of the concepts that we have, but. You got to deal with what you have, and that's what we've been doing for the last year. And um, you know, I can't wait to have him and Kyle and George and Tarswell was out. You know, can't wait to have all of them back. Matt, that last play that half got lost. Um, how long have you guys been practicing that? And is this just something that you threw in this week for the game, or? Uh, we practice at uh, zero. This we haven't gone over that at all. Mm -hmm. so Today was the first day. Yeah, and the huddle yeah. Kiff just said let's do this. So it was covered. It was man coverage. So. Pretty, pretty easy play. As a quarterback in this format where you're not coming in on every rep, is, is, is that difficult on your rhythm? Uh, well, like I said, I mean, that wasn't really the point today. Obviously, the game situation is a lot different where you, know, you can get a consistent rhythm. And uh, obviously, you're trying to put a drive together. So within a drive, I think that's where you're looking for the rhythm. But the whole game is you know, trying to get guys reps at this point. Thanks, man. Thanks. Okay. Chris? Slide over, man, in the middle, please. Yeah, thanks. Yeah. Curtis, this has been kind of a, a story of redemption for you this spring. I mean, Coach Kiffin talked about how you were on the verge of not making that the game on the team. Can you just talk about the changes you've made with your attitude and approach to everything? Uh, I mean, it was just something new, I guess, and I wasn't used to it. I, I, I wasn't used to the coaching philosophy, I guess. But um, like you said, I just I just matured and I just told myself if I want to go to NFL, you know what I'm saying, I just gotta change my attitude. Don't take everything personal, and uh, just be just be open to, to a change. And that's pretty much what I pretty much what I did. How much is the success you had this spring on the field motivated you in the classroom, which is an area that 
obviously it's been tough. It's been here. Um, just the feedback from my teammates, coaches, fans. And, uh, just it's just driving me to, to work even harder in class because I know I can I know I can do what I can do on the football field. So I just have to step my game up pretty much in the classroom, and that's pretty much what I did this spring. What do you have to do specifically to make to know you're eligible for next year? Uh, well, my academic probation, whatever. But um, I just have to get a 2.3, and I'm off academic probation, pretty much. They told me just to see average, and I'm pretty much got that down. So you're confident you'll be able to make that? Yes. Um, there weren't, weren't a ton of offensive fireworks today, but you provided some of them. How did it feel to you know break away from the pack and race down the sideline into the end zone? Uh, it was good. I mean, the whole line uh, pretty much took their game up today. They took so many, so much criticism. I mean, throughout the whole spring, uh, today they just came out and played, and uh, I just pretty much did, just did my part and just run the ball. Anything else for Curtis? Curtis, how much does your performance this spring help you? In terms of your approach to academics, I mean, how much now? How how different are you after this spring? Well, um, pretty much, just like I'm always on top of my football stuff. Pretty much, I have to be on top of my academics, and that's what I've been doing this spring, and I'm continuing to do it for the rest of my career here. Do you get banged up there at the very end? Yeah, I, had, I got hit in my shin, and then one of the linemen tried to help me up, and he stepped right, he stepped on the spot that I got hurt at. <laughs> 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 pretty much what happened. <laughs> Thank you, sir.